I want to start this by saying this is not the video you deserve, but unfortunately things have transpired against me and this is the video we're going to make. You can see on the table here my TI-99-4A is still in pieces, however I have parts on order, so those of you on Patreon will know the saga of this. And I'm just going to put this aside slightly because we can use this to contrast against this modern technology, the Husky Lens by DF Robot. And apparently this is an AI type board and the idea of this is, my, my view on it at least, is that it's using the AI type chips that do smile detection on cameras and object detection. So it can detect colour, faces and it can identify certain objects based on whatever parameter it uses. And the idea of this is that you can use it with your Arduino or Raspberry Pi or PC or whatever you have really to imbue those technologies with artificial intelligence. And I would just settle for any kind of intelligence to be honest, but that's fine. The box is really nice by the way. This is definitely a premium type packaging. I feel like they've actually spent quite a lot of time making this. This isn't just something that you just order on eBay and it just comes in a little jiffy bag. This is clearly quite nice. So this appears to have some metal fixings in here. This has a little cable set. And I presume you probably go online to really figure out how it all works with your particular device of choice. Oh my word, it's tiny. By the way, for commenting and packaging, look at that. Black jiffy bag. So you've got a screen here. It might be a touch screen. We'll find out soon enough because we can get power in here and actually power this on. You have a camera. You have a rocker, rocker alert and rattler switch there. Look, you can rock that, push that in. Little tack sensor and what appears to be a couple of interface headers. So that one is pretty traditional. I think that might be a serial power. But that one is a lot more fascinating. That's some other kind of connector I'm not aware of. It looks potentially a ribbon connector. The Kendrite chip. I don't know if that's the main CPU there. And you've got a wind bond. USB serial controller, I would believe. So yeah, we should be able to fire this up and Husky lens. So definitely a Husky lens. I've got the USB wire cable here, so we can just get straight to it, plug in the power. Hopefully we can use it right away. Wow, that was super quick. You can see here, face recognition, object tracking. Is it touchscreen? Oh no, we use that thing. Object tracking, object recognition, line tracking, color recognition, tag recognition, and general settings. Now, I'm going to make a bit of a guess here that some of that is configurable over the USB. Oh. I'm hoping so because I actually have a robotics project in mind that I would like to use this on. Is it me or is that actually... Hmm, okay. <laughs> I turned off the light because I thought it'd be brighter but it seems darker somehow. Yeah, I have an actual robot project in mind that I'd like to, to use this on. I've been playing with this for a while and it is absolutely awesome. I have to say, it's surprising how good this is for something so tiny. It, the software is really slick. It's got really nice features. I'll just show you some of the basic stuff. If you go to general settings, for example, you can choose the protocol type, you know, the serial port speed, those sorts of things. So it is giving a serial output, a coordinate based structured data output from what I can understand when I've seen examples from this. It does have obviously screen brightness and all the usual menu hiding, but check this out. There's LED switch. And if you do that, it actually has illuminators on the front here and an RGB mode. And you can change the brightness and color of these things. You can see I've still got the little lens cover on. I do like to leave those on for now, just in case it gets a bit grubby while we're playing with it. Now, if we go back to the main option though, I'm gonna show you something I just set up. We've got a baby bell, a security screwdriver bit, and our green object. Now our green thing's interesting because it seem to be having a little bit of trouble uh, looking at the green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do to color recognition. But what you do is you take your object, for example, this blue thing, and in the top right corner, I'm going to click that tack switch and you see it says learn. So it says click again to continue um, any other button to finish. So you can see there it's actually tracking that object. And if it goes out of frame, it disappears off. And then when it comes back, boom, isn't that cool? 
And when you look at the data stream for this, it's giving you things like the coordinates of the actual object. So if you're going to use this to track, for example, you want to build a car that follows this, you know the coordinates of the screen. Let's, for example, say it's 400 pixels wide, and this would be 200 pixels. What you could say is when the object starts moving out, let's say it's less than 180 pixels or greater than 210, you're going to turn your motor so that it goes zip like that. Zip, 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 and that way you can make this object track. And obviously you've got the vertical as well, so if you've got a gimbal. So that's really fun. I'm going to try something though. I didn't try it on multiple objects. I don't know if you can do multiple objects at the same time. So I'm going to say click that again to forget. So I'm going to click this guy, and then I'm going to look at our baby bell and click that. What happens if we click that? Ah, oh, look, you've got all the objects. Let's try again with the green thing. And it doesn't really like the green for some reason, but it's it's had a go at it. Now let's let the screen finish its setup. There you go. And now you can see there jiggling around all three objects. That is absolutely fantastic. I think we're going to have to do a more detailed video on this, setting the scene against my new project which is I'm going to probably give you a sneak peek on Patreon what that's about but this is going to end up in a massively cool robot. The facial recognition of course is tricky for me to demonstrate but if you look on the documentation on their website it shows all of those things. It's all based on a similar type of technology. There's a little uh, some sort of AI fuzzy fuzzy brain in these doing all of this and as I said it's not dissimilar to things that cameras do so maybe it just happens to be that there's a nice chipset that does all this or a software that's doing all this. If you have a line tracking mode by the way you can have it just follow the black lines written on the floor. Tag recognition is a QR code type based tag so you can get it to make decisions based on that. Object recognition. So that's interesting because it's saying the baby bell thing is a person. Uh, clearly it's not, but maybe it's got a basic library of objects. So it's thinking that's a bottle, maybe from the angle it is. I would say that looks more like a ball, surely. But let's look at that. So you've got object recognition, object tracking. Now I wonder if that's... Object recognition must be doing something with an internal database potentially. Object tracking is probably giving you the same thing where you're moving something around. And face recognition definitely is spotting faces when you see it. So we're going to have to really play through this. I'm not sure which ones I want to use, but I want to use this in tandem with, say, a Raspberry Pi and a GPS, uh, all those things. I need all of the robot technologies in what I've got planned. So, yeah, I'm really glad it was sent to me. I'm quite pleased with this. I'm definitely going to use it. I'm really surprised. It's a very nice, neat little thing. And, yeah, actually double thumbs up from me on this one. This is a good gadget. As ever, thanks for watching. Time for Baby Bell.